everyone and welcome again to my kitchen so today my husband requested for a pata team and this is a smaller pata tea, pata uh, the pork um, hock uh, this is around uh, two pounds so we're just making a, a, a smaller one uh, this time so what we need is uh, garlic uh, whole peppercorn, uh, bay leaves, mm, star anise, onions, and then I, I'm uh, uh, soaking the shiitake mushroom, brown uh, sugar, we have soy sauce, we have uh, shaoxing, uh, Chinese cooking wine, and I need also dark soy sauce, and the sesame oil. And also some uh, bok choy for the sidings. Okay, so instead of uh, frying the the pork hock, I'm gonna just uh, toast it in the oven. So before I do that, there my I I, I was hitting my oven at 400 uh, degrees, so Fahrenheit. So before I toast it there, I just want to brush it with the soy sauce so it, it gets that brown color instead of uh, it's just the same as when you uh, uh, what you call this when you fry it you just want to get that golden uh, brown color okay so let's put it here and let's Okay, so it's been heating for 400 degrees. And let's put this inside for 15 minutes only. Um, after seven minutes, we'll just turn it around, okay? Okay, while waiting for the uh, the pork hock we can start uh, making the sauce this is our uh, shiitake mushroom let's make it a bedding for the pork leg Next is our onion and garlic, our bay leaf, our star anise. This is very important, okay? Don't omit the star anise. This gives that uh, Chinese tasting super delicious. <laughs> Our sugar, our soy sauce, our shaoxing, I don't recommend using a um, what do you call this? Uh, the vinegar on this because it, it will taste like uh, paksiw na pata. And then uh, sesame oil. And I'm putting uh, uh, dark soy sauce just to give that uh, uh, dark color. Try to mix it. A little water. The water will depend on the uh, size of your uh, what do you call this? Your pork hack, okay? I'm sorry, but okay. it's better. 
So it will depend on your uh, the size of the uh, pork. Okay, so let's just wait for the pork hock. Okay, so let's just turn our pork. Cannot do it with one hand, okay? <laughs> so I turn on the, the the stove while waiting for this uh, uh, pork, and now uh, you see that that golden it has it has that uh, golden brown already because you cannot achieve this if you just uh, let it boil. Okay, so let's add some more water. Okay, I'll just go for this and uh, wait for at least uh, maybe an hour. But I want my pork to be fork tender, so it might take uh, some time. And you can also use the uh, pressure cooker, and it will only take, for this uh, size, it may only take uh, 30 minutes or less if you use your pressure cooker. But I'm using this for those uh, who, who doesn't have any pressure cooker, okay? I'll just cover this and let's wait. Okay, once you see the water is boiling, oh my gosh, the smell. Mm. You can lower the uh, uh, fire. And check on it if you, uh, you need to add some more water or what. And then after, maybe after 30 minutes, we'll uh, invert the the port okay okay so it's been 30 minutes so I'll just uh, try to wait it the water is still okay but uh, you check it out if it's running out of water then you can add the water okay so let's wait for another 30 minutes Okay, we'll just check our pork. Oh my, the smell. So just try to braise the pork so the top won't get uh, uh, dry. And you can taste it at this point. If it, uh, but I, I just tasted it, but it and it's good looking good and tasting good so let's wait for it it's still um it's still hard so let's just wait for it okay okay let's check oh wow Look at that. Okay, so let's put this aside. Oopsies, <laughs> sorry. And I'm, uh, I blanch my uh, uh, bok choy a while ago but I still want to have them uh, a little taste of the sauce
Okay, just uh, five minutes, and then we'll put slurry on the sorry, on, on the sauce. Okay, so let's just put some slurry to thicken the sauce. So it took me around uh, 1 hour and 15 minutes. Well, it, it depends on the pork that you're cooking. Sometimes you find uh, a tender one, but this one is uh, very uncooperative. <laughs> so yeah, it took me for this small one, it took me 1 hour 15 minutes. But if you use the uh, pressure cooker, I suppose it will only take you 30 minutes for this uh, kind of pork, okay? So let's serve it. Yes! Okay, here's our patatim. guys so this is our finished product Chinese patatim wow just the smell of it oh my look at how soft it is mmm oh my gosh oh my god mmm extra rice again look at that this is what I want. It's a uh, fork tender. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I want to eat now. Okay, guys. So, thank you again for watching another recipe from my kitchen. And please do share this to your friends and your loved ones, okay? I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much and God bless everyone. Mmm, yummy. Look at that. God bless.